Uh, it was one of the only races we had, you know, and even you, some days you don't want to, so you're not going to come back. You always do. If you wanted to get water on a course and do something hard, this was it. Everything on me. Boom. Here we go. Climb a few hills. Whew. Scott Modzaleski. Everybody says Mojaleski. They call me Mojo. First ran in 88, and this is my 21st running. In the old days, we were just like a couple jugs, you know, one Gatorade, one water. I think it's sometimes you overthink things, you know, in these events. Keep it simple, especially in shorter distances. Uh, here we are, 30th running, Crown King. Wow, how exciting. Dogs, they squirt people. <laughs> There's no lock on it. To the far blue mountains. Wow, I mean, I get, I get tears when I think about all the incredible people that have been involved in this since I got together with a good friend and say, I'm training for Western States. Would you help me do this? Would you crew for me? And, and six of us did it on Valentine's Day weekend, 1986, in the mud, because it had rained terribly. That is how the name Scramble, <laughs> seriously, that's how the name Scramble came to come alive, is because uh, we did 31 miles of mud. The memories you're going to have, the people you're gonna meet, the bragging rights you're going to have, uh, just have a wonderful time and think about all the people that went before you um, that made this happen. I, I, that's the important thing is to appreciate what it is that you're doing uh, because it's, it's a very memorable and uh, historical event as we all know. I mean, just understand the people that went before you that made this available to you um, and enjoy every step, please.
tough as it always is. Cloud cover was God sent today. Cramped as usual, uh, felt okay. So got it in going downhill there, feel pretty good. My dad read an article about Kay Alderton running across the Grand Canyon. So my older brother ran across and then he got into Western States and uh, sent me a letter to get in uh, uh, to pace him. And I was working construction, I just laughed while we were all sitting there and we, when I read the letter and I go, no way, you know, and I went to Western States and then I just said, I'm, I'm doing this, I'm changing my life, moving to Arizona. And uh, it took me three years to get in, you know, and so I went from a, a 10K to a half marathon to a marathon to a 50 in one year, like I, I think I told you, so. And the bug bites you, you know, and being outdoors and what this sport does. and. People would find out, you know, you're an ultra marathon runner. There wasn't many of us around back then. So we all stick together. And the sport is the best. The people care about each other and it's just great, you know? I don't think you get that in any other sport. The camaraderie, I mean, heck, what you're doing is crazy anyways. So you help each other out. I kept looking back during the day and I go, wow, I used to run this thing in like 440 four, 447, you know, how did I do that? I, I ran all those hills, that's how, you know, ran, walked them. And I'm just happy to walk them and do them and, and be out here, you know. Yeah, a lot of people that passed on, you know, like Saban, Vince Devlin, there's, the list kind of goes on. You have those memories of the older guys and Dwayne Batt, my training partner for a while. Uh, yeah, it's, uh, he's gone too. I thought of all of them out there, you know, and, and just smiled because I wasn't feeling too, too bad, you know. I go, I'm moving, you know. I tried to run the hill, but, you know, my legs just felt like logs, you know. So I just want to say thanks to everybody, mostly the volunteers that make this happen. And uh, if you're thinking about doing it, just get some walking training in and uh, you'll be fine. And you can wear the shirt. Thank you.